So today we're going to talk about the military manuals that you actually need for SHTF. And it's going to be a shocker and an irritant to most people because these don't include any weaponry. So most people are recommending manuals on special forces, ranger handbook, all kinds of other stuff. And the critical task that you'll actually be doing is combat engineering and rigging. So this one is field manual FM5-12, B is in Bravo, 3. Now the 3 here is skill level 3. On this particular manual, there is skill level 1 and 2. This particular one is skill level 3, which is intermediate supervisory. So this would be a sergeant actually directing people with skill levels one and two. There is another version of this called skill level four, which is even more thorough than this one. Now, this is critical because it gives you a lot of information on demolition. If you have access to explosives through construction or mining operations, this is a very complete guide on how to use explosives for demolition work. Now, for our purposes, it is a very good manual for how to build things. It gives a lot of detailed drawings. It gives directions, material lists, and you can tell by how thick this is. It has an incredible amount of information. This is close to 700 pages. This is a manual you definitely need. It has all kinds of things that you will use in order to salvage, build, and repair post-collapse. Now, this one, TM Tech Manual 5-725 Rigging, this one is critical to you because it shows you how to move things that are very heavy and position them. And it does this through the use of gin poles, frames, bipods, and tripods that are made from telephone poles or from tree trunks. So this gives you the ability to move, salvage, repair, and construct things without a crane. Now, what I find interesting is these books came out of a military school and when a group of students passed through, they didn't get to keep the tech manuals. They had to return these to the school, which is the height of stupidity. So it just goes to show you how money could have been well spent instead of on other things. So I would have thought you would have took all the manuals with you after you had the class, but it is not like that. Now, I want to reiterate that weapons-based manuals are not the most important in SHTF because, in reality, most people are not going to use those weapons. They're going to be doing engineering and construction tasks, salvage tasks, foraging, and repair work. So, the third manual I would get is the FEMA Fallout Shelter Manager's Manual. And that's for a RAD safe officer. That would give you complete information and lessons on how to use RAD meters, how to detect and form a plan on how to protect people in a radiation environment. Gives you all the information on RAD levels, what's permissible, what's not. It gives you a lot of information on how to run a shelter and operate it long term. So I would start by looking for these manuals. And as I said in a previous video, the actual military manual is much better. It's more complete and it doesn't have the errors that a lot of commercial copies have. Because in most SHTF situations, as well as in rebuilding after, these will be critical skills for you to salvage, repair, build, and move things. And nobody else on YouTube talks about these subjects. So please share your thoughts. We'll see you on the next video.